Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to Arbea Roman Fort in South Shields in the northeast of England. And I'm going to answer today the question, what is Arbea? Now, Arbea is the supply base on Hadrian's Wall, or well, near Hadrian's Wall, that supplied the Roman frontier up here in northern Britain. And it's found today a fantastic museum in the northeast of England. What it has today is what makes it so special is a large area of reconstructions that actually tell the story of what life was like for soldiers up here on northern Britain. And it's my hope in the next couple of episodes that I'll be able to show you some of these stories. So I've just walked out of the commanding officer's house here at Arbea, but right next to it you can see a reconstruction of a barrack block that soldiers would have lived in. And then as I pan across here, you can see the gatehouse as well. Arbea Roman fort during its time started as a cavalry fort but during the reign of the Roman Emperor Septimus Severus was actually transformed to become a supply depot with up to 28 granaries supplying food to Septimus Severus's army as he campaigned in Scotland and it's estimated that he had between 40 to 50,000 soldiers campaigning up there. After the end of that campaign these granaries were then transferred back into becoming barrack blocks and some of them were demolished but many of them were ret retained to keep this as a location where it would be a supply depot for Hadrian's War. From, from there, in the late Roman period, this fort is actually really interesting because we know from a document called the Notita Dignatum which is basically the list of offices and it tells us the locations the troop unit and where in the empire various different forces or units in the Roman army were deployed. And the Notita Dignatum says that here in Arbea, the troops stationed here were Iraqi Marines, uh, a unit of Tigris bargemen who were stationed here. And it tells us a lot about the amazing um, ethnicity and diversity of the Roman army up here in Northern Britain during the Roman period. From where we can see slightly further along in War's End, there were French troops. And then in Newcastle, there were British and German troops. But here in Arbea, there were Iraqi troops. And in other parts of the wall, you have Romanians, Bulgarians, Croatians, Swiss, Swiss Spanish, and troops from all over the empire who have been brought there to serve their 25 year terms. When you come to a place like Arbea though, it's the reconstructions that bring everything to life. And the gatehouse just in front of me is a wonderful example of this. Because so often when we come to archaeological sites like Arbea, we can just see the stones on the ground. And unless you've got a real passion for history, it's hard to rebuild these in your mind and actually see what was here. But with a gatehouse like this, where you get to walk through and really get a sense of what it would have been like nearly 2,000 years ago during the reign of the Roman emperors, what this northern frontier and post in the Roman Empire was like, well, that's what makes it special. And I absolutely love telling these stories and bringing it to life. So I really hope you enjoy the next few episodes where we're going to touch on various different elements of the reconstructions here at Arbea, some of the archaeological finds, and alongside this as well, some of the people who lived, worked, lived and died around Arbea, and that you'll really enjoy these. Until next time though, I really hope that you've enjoyed this short video and an introduction to Arbea, that you will like and subscribe, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you're interested, I do have a Patreon which will help you to basically suggest future videos that I will do and help shape the future of this channel. As always, I thank you for watching the video and I hope you are safe and well and that you will join me in the near future again. Until then though, thank you very much and goodbye.